Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Yakto and you are rejoining me on this uh, quite sunny day flight over uh, the Shang Tsu map and I'm flying the IL-2 um, and this uh, is going to be a, a review about the plane IL-2 um, it's a very uh, famous airplane almost uh, almost sort of a legendary airplane uh, it's called the flying tank and uh, the way the Russians used them was that they flew low and that's what I'm doing at the moment uh, they flew low and they attacked uh, ground targets and that was the primary use uh, of this plane um, and I've gathered some uh, material, some clips that I'm going to show you. Um, I'm not going to show you a lot of uh, ground attacking because we all know that the IL-2 is a pretty capable plane when it comes to taking out tanks and uh, light pillboxes and such uh, with its uh, eight rockets and four bombs so uh, that's uh, not a thing that I'm going to press too hard I'm I will show you uh, videos of me taking out tanks sure but um, there's another side to this plane uh, it's actually a pretty decent uh, dogfighter and I aim to show you just that in uh, the video um, what it isn't <laughs> though uh, is uh, that it isn't a good climber so you will have to uh, watch out for that uh, you need to plan ahead and think ahead about what, what you're going to do and uh, yeah well that's all for me. I I guess I'll show you the material and then we'll have a quick talk afterwards. Okay. Enjoy. So, uh, here I am on uh, the Berlin map and uh, having a look around. I've just taken off and I'm about to attack. Uh, some tanks calling out my target and uh, I'm starting to dive and build up some speed and uh, I'll drop all my bombs at once because I know that these tank columns are very hard to uh, bomb um, so uh, yeah I'll just get rid of the bombs first and then uh, start attacking with missiles after that coming in and actually only managing to score a uh, semi hit <laughs> So that was all that great. And at the same time I'm trying to uh, keep an eye out uh, on the map and all around me to see where the enemy is. Because I know that I'm in a quite a precarious situation, you know, early on in battle and I'm attacking uh, ground targets. Uh, a lot of uh, enemy players like to, to uh, get a uh, quick and easy first kill early on in the game. So I'm coming around again. And this time I'm trying to uh, hit the tank from the side. And easy. One Sherman out. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Coming 
again and uh, trying to aim. Bang. Stalling out a bit. <laughs> but I managed to uh, recover, come around. And aim, 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 fire. And it's a hit again. Yeah, so I'm thinking, okay, let's do one quick pass. And then I'm going to climb. Uh, because I know uh, the enemy pilots will have seen tracers and will have seen uh, um, the ground targets disappearing. And uh, looking at the, the roster, it doesn't look all too good because uh, there's no Allied pilots around. probably a bit shot down. So, uh, skipping ahead, uh, I've climbed a bit, and I can see some dots in the far distance. I'm thinking, okay, uh, those are probably enemy players. So, uh, let's, uh, let's try to pick a fight. But I want to uh, keep the upper hand in the fight and stay up high and dive down on them. And if I can, I will dive down below, behind them and shoot them out before they get the chance to spot me. So I'm diving down. And he's uh, obviously seen me, so he's trying to avoid it. I get some lucky shots in. On the burst. And uh, close call. But I got more energy than he does. So, uh, I come in behind him. trying to get that opportunity for a shot. Get some pitch in. And he's on fire. So I don't need to continue uh, hammering him anymore. And I see there's a uh, P-47 incoming uh, with me as a target so I try to uh, turn I don't want to go uh, into the vertical against this guy because he clearly has the upper hand when it comes to energy so I'm just gonna try to evade him uh, at the start and then if I get opportunity I will shoot at him so I'm just keep turning Try not to uh, drop too much in altitude. And I see uh, the Thunderbolt is coming into a turn fight with me. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I will get him then. Because I know the P47 isn't a good turn fighter. And sure enough, I get to burst in. And get some hits. He's smoking. And for some reason not turning any longer. Get time enough to aim. Um, so I'm feeling kind of confident at this point. And I don't want to uh, enter a head on pass with that guy. So I'm just uh, trying to avoid. And then. Uh, into a turn fight again and uh, boom <laughs> I'm going down fast <laughs> so on to uh, Mostok uh, 
and this was actually the first time I played this map. I've never been on it before. Uh, it's quite cool, you know, small map, uh, obviously made for uh, close encounters and dog fights. And uh, I started the battle uh, by when climbing for a bit. I wanted to get some altitude, and uh, I could see that there was uh, sort of a massive fireball down there. So I after I gained a, a bit of altitude, I started to move on over. I could see there was a fighter diving down. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna be the one with the highest altitude. That's always a good thing, because I couldn't find any other dots on the sky above me. Uh, so uh, I started a slight dive into the action. And I'm trying to pick a target. And I don't want to uh, pick uh, an airplane that's uh, chased by a friendly but there was uh, quite a few uh, friendly pilots around so I just had to pick one in the end and just engage he's smoking so that means he's critting it's not a nice thing to strafe him but hey And in the end I got I had a bad sh opportunity for a shot, so maybe it was for the best. And coming up, I see this guy, and I try to uh, get a few shots in, and we engage in a dog fight. And he's going uh, vertical, and I'm quite confident I have a lot of... Uh, energy so I can chase him but not for too long and I get this opportunity to fire at him so that was a good risk I took and he's trying to get away dive away but this uh, is quite a heavy plane so I can keep up with him and also I had more energy from the start with. Um, boom, he's on fire. And uh, game over. He's not all too happy to have been shot down by an IL-2. Uh, as you can see in the chat. Next map, uh, we're on Krimsk, and another furball, <laughs> they're quite common <laughs> on Tai 2 games. Uh, there's uh, four enemy fighters going up against three, so uh, I'm coming in once again from bow, and I had this uh, altitude advantage, so I just pick a fighter, pose a uh, uh, real threat for one of my teammates and I engage but he's getting uh, shot at from all directions and in the end I'm the lucky one to get the killing blow <laughs> I see this fist fighter. I'm thinking, okay, let's go for him. He just downed one of uh, our planes. He must be a uh, dangerous opponent. Get some hits in. 
turn around. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Poor shots. Poorly aimed shots, but that one's better. And he's going down. And later on on the same map, I'm uh, gaining some altitude again. And I'm heading in over uh, Krimsk to find some uh, more opponents. I see the Spitfire, and I'm thinking, okay, he's almost at the same height as me, so uh, let's take him out. Because if I die, die down, he gets the dive on me, so naturally he's the first priority for me. Uh, Spitfire is trying to climb after me, so since I had the uh, energy advantage over him and altitude advantage, I'm just I keep going straight up or almost straight up until he uh, either stalls out or uh, loses uh, his focus on me. So I loop around and I engage. my teammate on fire. Somebody cover me. Coming in a bad angle. And you can see here that the IL-2 is a good turner at high speeds. Uh, it's not such a good turn fighter at low speeds, so you should try to uh, keep uh, your speed up if you want to uh, turn fight in this thing. I just try to uh, take him out before he gets the chance to run away from me. And I succeed. Look around for targets, but there is none. So uh, I start climbing again. A few moments later, uh, I'm at a decent altitude, trying to close in on that P40. And I'm thinking, okay, I got altitude advantage, and he's uh, probably gonna seek uh, a head on pass with me. So I'm just, uh, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna go straight up and use WIMP because he can't fly upwards and fire 
too much before he is stalling, so... And if he does, he will stall out, and I will swing around and take him out. Get some, uh, some shots in, and then he is uh, stalling. So I come in behind him. Miss. This is a tactic that he's using, he's uh, drawing me into the AAA fire. I'm trying to get the sniper shot on him. To get the lucky, lucky shot in and maybe set him on fire or something, get the crit in. eventually get the crit. And now he's too far away. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, pursue. I'm gonna try to climb. Let him run. As long as I got the altitude advantage. Uh, in an okay position. And for a while it seems that he's turning around, but then he straights out and starts running again. I'm shaking behind me to see where my my teammates are. And he's swinging around. like he was thinking to uh, to draw us into uh, the ship's uh, AAA fire here. But someone has uh, already sunk the ships, so he's not getting any support from that side. Uh, aiming poorly, <laughs> shooting. Managed to hit, and then hit again. And he's on fire. So that's a kill. And I spot the other. Ah, his teammate <laughs> tried to come and help out. Luckily, I have more armor than he does. So. Turn fighting against the Spitfire 
isn't something I would recommend. <laughs> They're good turn fighters. Uh, especially when you're <laughs> getting quite slow at low altitude. So trying to avoid him. And, uh, for some weird reason, he uh, disengaged and went for the other, for my teammate. So I got a lucky break and I couldn't uh, pursue him. So, uh, what are my thoughts about the IL-2? Uh, first of all, I think it's um, it's a very good airplane all round, although it's a bit heavy. Uh, it's not the best climber, but it doesn't need to be. It's supposed to be a ground attacker, and it's supposed to fly at a low altitude. And uh, given the kind of loadout it has with the rockets and bombs you're often gonna fly low uh, hitting tanks and whatever enemy positions on the ground you will find but um, the idle 2 can be quite a capable dogfighter um, you have to watch your altitude uh, because if you turn fight uh, with it you s you tend to bleed speed a lot so uh, if you don't have altitude and you're in a turn fight at low altitude you will simply just stall out and crash or at least in uh, in realistic battles um, so the way I fly it is that um, I tend to climb and try to stay high and engage uh, enemy fighters uh, at the higher altitude and then work my way down and um, I try to stay away from uh, going vertical like in loop maneuvers or imbalmans of their enemies and so on uh, because uh, if you fight planes such as uh, the BF-109 who tends to go into the w vertical uh, you will find yourself in a lot of trouble uh, it's easier just to turn around given the, the great turn rate of the IL-2 um, and uh, yeah I like it I think it's uh, a bit of a troll plane uh, sitting on given it's uh, only tire 2 so uh, most of your opponents will be uh, people who have just uh, started playing who are more or less rookies in the skies uh, at least in in realistic battles and uh, they can be easy targets uh, for you if you climb because they tend to stay low um, but yeah you can get into some pretty decent uh, dog fights uh, I like it and uh, yeah that's all for me and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time